what is going on everybody welcome back to RC car garage and in today's video like I said in my last one I had something interesting at least for me hopefully you guys enjoy So I went to my local thrift store the other day and I picked something up. This guy. So I picked this thing up and I thought to myself, yo, this thing's actually pretty cool looking. So I brought it with me. The other thing that made it cool looking for me is the fact that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This thing's four-wheel drive. So I came to find out, I did a little research on this thing. I came to find out it's made by New Bright. Uh, it's the fast lane something. They say this is a 1.6 scale, but it is not a 1.6 scale. At least to what I do, what we do, all of us, this isn't a 1.6 scale. This is more like a 1.10 scale, I would say. Uh, definitely not a 1.6 scale. Because my Hummer is a lot bigger than this. So, I mean, it all depends on what scale they decided to say it is. Well, whatever. I guess at that point, the, this was a 1.6 scale. But now, so 1.6 scale is pretty big. Anyway, back to this. So, so yeah, I found this thing and I figured, yo, it's got four-wheel drive. What can I do with it? I mean, what can't I do with it? I was actually, at first looking at it, like, hey, I can use the body. It's a hard body. So I can use the body, put it on a different chassis, and go along my way. But then I'm like, mm, you know what? Before I do that, let me see what this thing can do on the trails without, uh, without ruining the body on this chassis, the way it sits right now. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to be taking off the front bumper here, take off the rear bumper here, and pads. To me, that's just like, that's awesome. Like you guys can probably see right there actually, that's the front shaft and the rear drive shaft is right. It, well, it's in there. You can probably not see it, but it's in there. Um, and the motor, I believe it's here in the back. So I thought to myself, you know what? Let me take this body off, take this thing apart, and uh, let me see how this thing will do out on the trails. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to take another RC with me. I'm just going to take this thing out, put it on the trails, and see how it does. So the first thing I got to do, because when I got this, I think I already said it, I did not find the remote with it. Unfortunately, it did not come with a remote. <clears throat> so I am going to be gutting out the electronics in here and I'm going to be putting in my own electronics more than likely going to be changing out the servo also so that's what I'm going to do change out the servo more than likely and probably the motor I'll probably just get like a cheapy brushed system and uh, throw it in here and see how this thing goes so what I'm going to do is start taking this thing apart and um, take the body off and see where the electronics all are. I'm going to see where the electronics all are and see what they look like. But before I do that, I actually want to flip this guy around and I have here a battery that I want to at least put on here because I came to find out I came to find out of course it it takes to me a plugs but I came to find out that this thing actually has front headlights so I'm going to plug this thing in like so So excited. All right, plug that in. Yeah, I'm gonna use the tray here. 
that it comes with to put the battery in because I want to stand this guy straight up if I can get it to why is it being such a pain in the butt my dude anyway all right so let us both see together whoa no lights are on nothing all right I mean it does have lights in there whatever so I'm guessing the electronics it's dead I'm guessing it is dead yep I have it all right mm-hmm okay so there we have it <laughs> the electronics probably dead so I'm going to start taking this thing apart uh, the first thing I'm going to take off is actually going to be the front bumper I'm taking off the front bumper because I think it's going to look a lot better without the front bumper on there to be quite honest and then if I decide to sell it I'll put the front bumper back on um, but so what I'm while I'm doing all of this Because this is going to take me a little while to figure out. There we go. Maybe not. Um, but anyway, so while I'm trying to figure out how all of this comes apart, um, I'm going to start dismantling this thing and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so we are back. Now, I have, as you guys can see, I have taken the body off of this thing and I have taken out the electronics that are right here <laughs> so I took all this off uh, my intention so my intention for this thing um, as I started to do a little more research on it not research but like started investigating a little bit more on this uh, what I also did when I took the body off, took off the electronics, I decided to lock up the front and the rear diffs. So as you guys can see, I completely locked up the front and the rear diffs to see how this thing's going to do. Am I really expecting it to perform good? No, <laughs> no, not at all. It's just a toy grade. I like I said earlier. I had bought the. I had bought it more because of the body. But when I figured out that this thing was four wheel drive, I'm like, you know what? Let me see what it can do as a toy grade. So what I am going to do is I have the electronics. So I have, don't know where I got this from, but uh, yeah, I, I got ESC here, Hobby Wayne Quick Run 1060 that I'm going to be putting in here. Um, the motor that's on here now is, again, like I said, the motor is here in the back. There is a shaft that runs from the back all the way to the front. Um, ends up being in the front right there. So the biggest thing, let me turn this off. So the biggest issue that I'm going to have with this is going to be installing a servo. Uh, I got to try to figure out how I'm going to install the servo because the servo that's on here now is this guy. Well, I left all the wires there, but that's a servo that's on here now. And I will be honest with you guys. I kind of don't have an idea of how. That's not where I wanted you to go. 
Um, I kind of don't have an idea of how I'm going to put this guy, put the servo in. I, I, I don't know. All right, so here we go. So here's a servo. I, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know how I'm going to get a servo to work in here. That I'm still investigating. Still trying to figure it out. What I might have to do is take off this front end. And uh, I have another ESC here. Never mind. So I'm going to have to take off this front end and um, figure out how I'm going to do the servo. The other thing that I was talking about was taking out the front bumper, removing the front bumper. I am going to have to leave the front bumper on if I can get this damn screw out. There we go. So I'm going to have to leave the front bumper on because the, what I ended up finding out was that the front bumper is actually holding on the front end of this thing. So... I'm going to have to run with the front bumper. What I might end up doing um, is probably chopping off these. Let me turn on this light again. Come on. There we go. So what I might have to do is chop off this piece here and this whole thing here just to get some kind of clearance on it. I'm not sure yet, but I'm probably just going to end up taking it out with the way the front bumper is, completely the way it is. Um... I think I also talked about removing these fake tanks, but I'm not going to. What these fake tanks are actually doing is covering up where the battery is going to go. So my intention here is to put a battery, which is not going to be this one. But my intention is to use that battery tray, same battery tray. Um, I'm going to be using a LiPo, of course, but basically here. So these guys can see what I'm doing here. So basically, the battery tray I am going to be using, which I'm going to have to take this part out that's in here. So I can set the battery tray. So I can set the battery inside here and uh, reuse the battery tray. So yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. So. Like I said, I have already locked up the front and rear diffs on this thing. I have already locked up the front and rear diffs on this thing. So, all four wheels are moving together. The other thing, oh yeah, the other thing I found out was with these uh, tanks, tanks, on the sides here, they're also holding, it's all holding the rear end. So all these chrome pieces, it's actually holding the rear end together. So I can't remove the tanks. Not only is it covering the battery, not only is it covering the battery tray, but it's also holding the rear end on to the truck, onto the chassis, I mean. so. There we go. So I do have a lot of room where I'll be able to put the electronics in, have all that set up. Um, I can actually make shift my own tray uh, sort of thing with something, I don't know, probably some polystyrene. So I got polystyrene. I could probably just cut out a piece of this, um, sit it right in here so I have a tray to be able to put this on. I also have a whole bunch of room here in the front. There we go. So I do have room here where I'll be able to put uh, probably the receiver. The ESC will probably go here. Um, the servo, of course, is gonna wind up going in there because that's where the servo was. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna make the servo work on here. Um, is 
So yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing. I want to see what this thing is going to be able to do. So I'm going to be figuring out how I'm going to mount the servo on here, get the servo to, get the servo to work, uh, get a receiver in here, probably end up cutting a little slit, probably end up cutting a little slit right in here somewhere just so I can get the wires to run. Um, see if I can put, I don't know if a 550 motor is going to fit in here. I'm going to have to actually take the motor out to see what type of motor it is. Uh, probably, I'm guessing probably like a 380 is what's actually in here now. Somewhat of a 380. And I could probably replace it with a 380 and run the ESC and everything and see what it does. But uh, I kind of want to see how it does without removing the motor. Stock motor, upgraded brains, upgraded servo, see how it does. So... You guys stay tuned. Uh, that video will be coming out. I will be getting this out once I figure out how to do that. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, stay tuned because there's going to be a lot more coming out. You guys all have a good one.